follow. So now we have Aurora Rialon, who is talking about critical unschooling practices and experiences by a teenager. So I just realized I'm the youngest person in the room, but that's fine. So my name is Aurora and I am a certified homeschooler and you will probably laugh upon hearing these words but it's true. It's true because it's more than nine years that every time anyone asks me what school do you go to and by the way this always happens like you probably will know anyone will ask you what school do you go to but anyways um, I answer I'm a homeschooler and so that's what makes me a certified homeschooler. By the way, I'm also a certified C2 English speaker. Just sorry for the plug, but that was unnecessary, but whatever. Um, so I just wanted to introduce my concept, which is the concept of normality. And so why did I choose this concept? Um, I chose this concept because at the beginning when they asked me to do this presentation, I uh, kind of had a writer's block, my mind went kind of blank, and I didn't know what to say. And then I, I just understood that it was because I had this normal in my mind, like homeschooling or unschooling is my normality, and so I didn't really know what to say because, you know, what is there to say? It's just my life and whatever. Um, but then I kind of speaking with my mom and whatever, um, I kind of had this idea to expand on the concept of normality and you know what it means to stray out of the perceived normality and whatsoever. So let's start from the definition of normal or normality, which is the usual, typical, expected state or condition, or again, it means conforming to a standard, usual, typical, or expected. And further research I have done has showed that normality is something subjective, a relative, a relative concept that forms in each of our minds based on our previous life experiences it has also confirmed that who decides normality is mainly people in powerful positions or groups. So it ultimately involves power, as Helen, I think, mentioned uh, before. Um, so to illustrate my concept today, I will show you some examples and they will be split into what is considered normal in general versus the diversity experienced by people and homeschoolers. Uh, but first, a quote from Vincent van Gogh, who once said, Normality is a paved road, it's comfortable to walk, but no flowers grow. So, example number one starts off when the majority of kids in school, or fellas, not their fault after all, right? Um, they all dress in the same way. For example, the usual schoolgirl with her cute shoes from a very famous brand, wide leg high-waisted jeans, and to top it all off, the tiny top that anyone can use as a headband, right? I know you've seen it somewhere, whatever. Yeah, I know. Um, same thing for the boys. They can be, this can be for the boys as well. I'm just biased because I'm a girl, so I use that example. Um, so then there's this person who doesn't know, uh, who doesn't follow the trend, and they might be dressed like, uh, you know, uh, they wear slippers and tall crew socks with a heavy puffer jacket and maybe shorts in the winter too. I don't know, it's just a crazy example, but whatever. Um, but you will likely say, well, okay, what do I care about that, right? Hopefully, I don't know. Um, so, no, wrong answer. Um, in school, these things are so important. And then the whole class starts laughing at this person and whatever, that's just an example of how a situation might go. Um, but why is that? Because of normality. There's this perceived sense of uh, what is the normal for that particular group of people, which is school. Um, but normality is a concept that's been invented. 
So it's kind of stupid. Um, and there's this example that every group in the world, I guess, has their own kind of normal. So, for example, a group of punk or in church, if you go, like, for example, punks, if they see you dressed as a hippie, they're not exactly going to be, like, very happy to see you dress like that because they're not, like, they don't dress like that. Or in church, if you go to them dressed in, like, tight clothes, that's not really their normal, I guess. Um, but that's what's normal in school. But I wanted to add that on the website Power Poetry, I have found a quite insightful poem about normality, which is essentially called Normality is Bullshit. Um, sorry for my French. Uh, and I highly recommend you look it up because it truly holds the meaning of what I want to bring today about what is considered normality. So example number two, let's just move on. Um, is learning in a different way and I have experienced this on my own skin I guess. Um, normality in school is considered learning anything easily, understanding anything easily um, and you, I'm sure you probably know what I'm talking about um, but this honestly makes no sense because only 40% of people are actually this way in school and we all know this because it's not everyone just everything comes easily to everyone we're all different right so uh what happens is professors compare you to other classmates who have nothing to do with you um because they are not the same i'm not the same from you you're not the same from me it, we're just not the same and we could never be not even twins when they're born are the same because they're just so different anyway um but you have two options when they notice you don't learn as easily as other people um and the first one is they treat you like someone with a serious problem or they send you to a psychologist i was lucky because that didn't happen to me but this can be very traumatizing for teenagers and kids and to be um, to have such a, a mark on you that's been put I just I cannot fathom this it's it, it's horrible honestly because you take that with you for the rest of your life um, and the second option is they consider you as a dumb person or you're looked down upon because you are not normal, right? Um, so let's move on again. Example number three is not behaving in the same way as everyone else. So 99% of people in school judge everyone in every way possible. And I'm not trying to generalize here. Um, that's just kind of facts. Um, but not everyone is like this, thankfully. Of course, there is the one person. I have two friends who are amazing people and they go to school, so it's possible to be different. But, <laughs> so they're taught this behavior is normal. So it's like, you know, when you hear parents or professors say, you know, teenagers are just like the worst scum on earth because they're just so mean and so irresponsible and so whatever whatever i'm a teenager by the way so yeah um but they are taught this behavior is normal because teachers and adults i guess normalize that this is how teenagers are and so teenagers are just like well I might just as well do that. Like, I might just as well be the worst person ever and bully other people and whatever because I learned that that's what teenagers are supposed to be like, I guess. And so they're normalizing this and it's not really the best, of course. Um, but being the 1% that doesn't judge is, of course, hard. Um, because you even get judged for maybe not judging like everyone else. So it's kind of this 
tricky situation where, yeah, that's what happens. Um, but being homeschooler is something that decognizes teenagers because they don't follow the standard pathways that have been set for them. For example, yes, I had this feeling of it's my normal to um, be a homeschooler and whatever and I don't know what to say, but I feel like homeschoolers have this kind of um, open mind when it comes to everything, you know? Uh, we might be like in front of a situation that we don't like or someone has a different point of view, but we might be like, well, I don't really like this, but I might listen to it and see if there's something that resonates with me or if I actually might change my mind, you know? Very open-minded and that's what I feel homeschooling has helped me because actually I come from three years of primary school, I think it is. Um, but yeah, it helped me stray out of normality the perceived normality and not feel left out because I have created my own normality but as I said we can just uh, have an open mind enough to not be like other people uh, but I think the solution to all of this aside from the topic of homeschooling is you need to make your own normality to live a fulfilling good life right um, of course, if I say that, it's not like your normality is, say, you like killing people. I hope not, but you like killing people, that's your normality, and you go around and you just kill people. No, no, that's not what you gotta do. Um, so you need to stay within ethical barriers, right? Um, so that's what I wanted to say. But articles from the Association Life clearly show us that homeschooled, unschooled people have more of an open mind in all aspects of life. Instead of restricting themselves to follow one specific path, way of being, or beliefs. Uh, and then an end quote from me is, a smart person is not someone who knows everything. A smart person is someone who knows what they lack or that they don't know everything and that they have to work hard to learn the things they don't know. Thank you very much. On, on that Aurora in that it's interesting to uh, hear you speak and see you speak because you are an example of what you're talking about. You're not normal. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're English. I, I wanted to say that I'm not normal. No, you're not. I an example yeah. of your, your English is fantastic yeah. and you're 17 you. and you're presenting at an academic conference. So sit down, you yeah. unnormal person. <laughs> while well, we all catch our breath um, because that's just so impressive.